Welcome to the Experts in Medicine talk series. This series is brought to you by Handbooks in Healthcare, leading publisher of clinical pocket references by the world leading medical experts. Today we are joined by Gary Noskin, leading infectious disease expert and author of Contemporary Diagnosis and Management of Antimicrobial Resistant Bacteria. My name is Gary Noskin, and I'm a professor of medicine in the Division of Infectious Diseases at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine. I'm also the Associate Chief Medical Officer at Northwestern Memorial Hospital in Chicago. And I thought what I would do is talk a little bit about what's happening with regards to antibiotic resistance. Many of you are aware that traditional antibiotics are no longer effective against a whole host range of bacteria. Many of these are bacteria that in the past were easily treatable, but more recently have become antibiotic resistant. In addition, there's been a lot of attention surrounding some of the so-called superbugs, in particular, methicillin-resistant Staph aureus, or MRSA. And this has become particularly problematic because while in the past, MRSA had generally caused infections among hospitalized patients, it is now in the community. And not only is it in the community, it's causing significant skin and soft tissue infections among patients who are otherwise healthy. Another organism that many of us in infectious disease are concerned about is vancomycin-resistant enterococci. Enterococci are bacteria that are normally found in the intestines of most patients, but following exposure to vancomycin, they may become resistant to one of the most common forms of therapy that we use to treat these infections. This may be even more problematic in patients who are allergic to penicillin, for which vancomycin is traditionally one of the treatment options. Other bacteria that have become antibiotic resistant over the the recent years are Pseudomonas, which is a common bacteria among hospitalized patients or people without a normal immune system, in an emerging pathogen called Acinetobacter. Acinetobacter, like Pseudomonas, falls in the category of gram-negative bacteria and is generally seen in particularly sick patients in hospitals, especially cancer patients, patients in intensive care units, or patients with organ transplantation. Of all of these organisms, many of us consider Acinetobacter among the most worrisome because our treatment options for acinetobacter are particularly limited. And finally, I wanted to comment about Clostridium difficile, or C. diff. This is a bacteria that can cause diarrhea and often occurs in patients who have been previously treated with antibiotics. So this may be one of the unintended consequences of prolonged antibiotic therapy. And C. difficile is becoming more frequent and more severe. And while the organism generally responds to antibiotics, in severe cases, patients may need surgery to remove their colon in order to prevent progression of disease. So in summary, antibiotic resistance is really emerged as a major problem, both locally and nationally, and in fact, even internationally. And we've developed a handbook to help you address that issue. Contemporary Diagnosis and Management of Antimicrobial-Resistant Bacteria is a compendium of the most commonly identified antibiotic-resistant bacteria that addresses not only the therapeutic options for these infections, but information with regards to prevention and control of these bacteria, and finally discusses some of our future antibiotic armamentarium. Thanks for tuning in to the Experts in Medicine talk series. Brought to you by Handbooks in Healthcare. If you are interested in purchasing copies of this or any other titles by Handbooks in Healthcare, please call 800 860 9544 or email custserve at hhcbooks.com. All Handbooks in Healthcare titles retail for under $25 a copy and can be purchased in bulk quantities at substantial discounts. Handbooks in Healthcare can be found on the web at www.hhcbooks.com.